Hi, Professor. This is Sudhave Kayanasundaram and my colleague is Akash to the today's lab. Uh, today's lab is coding assignment 2 in that part 2. Uh, the lab is about an uh, RSA public key encryption and the signature lab. Uh, let's, uh, what is RSA? RSA is nothing but an is widely used to public key crypto system for secure communication. The RSA algorithm involves generating two large random prime numbers which are used to create public and private key pairs. The keys can be used for encryption, decryption, digital signature generation, and verification. I have already done C programming for three tasks in part two. I will explain then each C program step by step. First, let's open task 1.c. Uh, task 1.c, I, I have included the necessary headers. I am including the open SSL big name library also, as you can see here. Yeah, this is from uh, void print bn. It's a helper function print bn. It's defined to print big num variables uh, with custom messages. Uh, it converts a big num to a SRDC string using bn bn2 hex, as you can see here. With this function, it helps to convert the big num to a SRDC string and then prints the message followed by string. Finally, it frees the allocated memory for the string. This goes to the main function. And uh, this main functions uh, declare and initialize and variables uh, for the B and CTS content, prime numbers P and Q, public exponent E, and the intermediate variables P minus 1, Q minus 1, uh, phi N, and then private key D. Uh, let's initialize the P, Q, and the E with the given values. Uh, let's calculate then uh, Euler stolen function phi uh, n for n equal to p into q. This is uh, done by subtracting one from both p and q and then multiplying them. Uh, let's calculate the private key uh, let's, uh, with modular multiplicative inverse of e modulo phi n. This is a private component d as you can see here. Uh, at last, let's print and calculate a private key using a print bn helper functions. Uh, at last, we free allocated the memory for big name variables and then bn cts content. Uh, return geo is uh, for successful execution. The task 1.c is over. Let's go to the task 2.c and there we explain what is that. Now, task 2.c is a C program uses the OpenSSL library to perform RSA encryption. Uh, let's go through the code step by step. I have included the necessary libraries. Uh, after that, this function is defined to print message MSG uh, followed by an SR decimal representation of bit number A. It uses OpenSSL BN, BN2, X, as you can see here, to convert big number to a SR decimal string. Let's go to the main function. Uh, in main function, these lines are declare and initialize variables. Like I'll explain about each variables. CTX, first I will explain. CTX is a contents variable used for temporary storage during calculations. Let's see. N is uh, N comma N and E. Both are the public key components for RSA encryption, as you can see here. This is message. Uh, message is a uh, plain text message to be encrypted. As we last one is cipher. Cipher is a uh, resulting cipher test after encryption. At last, let's uh, initialize the public key components N and E as well as the plain text message uh, to a top secret in hexadecimal. Uh, the BN mod ESB, as you can see here, uh, this function performance and uh, modular expon uh, exponentation. So if we go to message mod, um, message E mod N, this operation simulates an encryption step in RSA. Uh, let's print an uh, encrypted messages as we from here. At last, uh, these lines, I highlight these lines. These lines free the allocated memory for the bit numbers and the contents to private memory links. At last, return zero is the program exists with success code. I'll open now task 3.c and I will explain the task 3.c step by step. 
this C program uses the OpenSSL library to perform all asset decryption. Let's go through the code step by step. I will include the necessary headers, including OpenSSL. Let's define the function for printing big numbers. The function print B, and as I said before, in task 2.c, takes a message string msg and a big num pointer. It converts the big num to the XR decimal string. And this is an uh, main function, and I already explained about each main function, ctx, n, d, cipher test. And I will explain about decrypted test. Uh, decrypted test is uh, nothing but then uh, after the message which has been, cipher test has been uh, decrypted. Uh, the main function, uh, is, uh, initialize the big number context. Uh, let's initialize the value. Uh, the, this line initialize the n comma d uh, and the cipher test variable with extra decimal values. Uh, I'll say decryptions. This one, this line is. Uh, this line's performance always a decryption using modular exponential operation. The decrypted message is calculated as cipher test d mod n and stored in a decrypted message variable. Let's print our uh, decrypted message here using print bn function. At last, as I explained in task 2.c, these lines will free the allocated memory to prevent memory leaks. And uh, the return 0 program return 0 indicates successful executions. Uh, right now, I will explain a live demo of this code. Let's uh, continue with our task. Uh, task 1 is nothing but then deriving the private key. So first of all, we open our terminator, as you can see here. Uh, let's come on to our directory. Let's copy our directory. Let's come on our directory. For 2. Let's check it. Every file solder, every file solder. Or task one. Task one is nothing but then deriving the private key. Given prime numbers P, Q, and public exponent E, let's calculate the private key D using the formula D equal to E power minus 1 mod P minus 1 into Q minus 1. Let's compile the task 1.c code using the following command DCC task 1.c in output of uh, let's give anything like all uh, task one I and L crypto the compilation has been successful. This uh when the executable dot slash or let's say RS, we save the file. RS, task one. Yeah, task one. This is execute. As you can see, the private key has been visible. We have successfully de derived the private key. Let's move to the task two. Task two is starting but then encrypting the message. Use the public key e comma n to encrypt a message a top secret. Let's convert it, the string to x string. Then, then to big num. First of all, let's encode the message at top secret, exclamatory, in hexadecimal format. So we will use Python, Python, if and C. Print. Yeah. Top. Secret exclamatory plus dot let's encode it. We are converting into X format, so encode of X. Let's close this. Again, close this. Yeah, successfully we encoded things. So mm -hmm. let's uh, compile our task 2.c. I have already copied this. Sorry. Okay. I already copied while I'm doing performance. And here we paste our 
انكريبتد مسج ها اس اس سي بيست بس كلوز let's compile our task to dot c dcc task to the c and the output uh, let's save it as our siphon task to final crypto gcc task to dot c iphone or all task to slash iphone l crypto let's compile The completion successfully take place. Let's run the executable. Dot slash all is task two. I think so. I said yeah, task two. As you can see, here the encrypted message. This is our encrypted message. Let's uh, decrypt the message first three. As you can see here, all is task one, task two here, and the encrypted messages also is there. Let's decrypt our messages. Encrypted messages, this. Let's copy this. Go to task3.c. Let's paste our decrypted message. Uh, so let's we paste our decrypted message here. Let's go to our terminator. Task 3. Task 3 nothing about and decrypting a message. We decrypt a given ciphertext using the private key. Convert the results back to the plane into ASC2 string. Let's compile our task 3.c code by the same thing GCC task. I save it in. Task three, task three dot C. Let's run our task three dot C. Or task three. As you will get a value here, as you can see that this is our decrypted message value. Let's decode the SR decimal string by using Python. Let's copy this. Copy this. Let's decode it using Python. Python hyphen C print. Let's paste it here. The decrypted message dot decode it. We have encrypted this message using hex, so let's decode it using hex. Yeah, Python C print dot decode next format, and we will close this. Yeah, 